What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here back with another specialist guide and today we are going to be taking a look at Nomad along with his fellow companion Juno. Nomad is a smart survivalist and an expert in jungle warfare so let's check out this elite soldier who is out seeking retribution for his fallen comrades who have been brutally murdered by their own friends and team. Tavo Rojas, or Nomad, was an ex-member of the elite Colombian Rapid Deployment Force. During their last search and destroy mission, Tavo realized that their targets of the mission was their own men. Soon after, the other members were then reassigned to other teams. However, under suspicious circumstances, Tavo's ex-squad mates started turning up dead, so then fearing for his life, Nomad went off the grid seeking retribution for his friends. So, somebody wants Nomad and his former team completely completely wiped out and we don't know who this person is and why they are killing his former squad. Moving on to Nomad's arsenal, he carries around a mesh mine which will detonate when someone walks over it. You can also link up two or more to create a trip wire. On screen is how long you can connect two trip mines together. It's fairly long but you should always connect them as low to the ground as possible so that way it's harder for the enemy player to spot them. Usually you want to place them inside of a building or an area that players will always go to so you'll be able to secure that location better. Another good strategy to do is connect the wire inside a building that has a capture zone inside of it. Now the mesh mine takes about 1 minute and 10 seconds to fully charge up which is pretty fast plus you can also connect a total of 4 mesh mines together so kind of get creative with the placement do not place the wires out of an area that is kind of in the open where the enemy players could easily see it or destroy it now when it comes to spotting and avoiding the mesh mine there really isn't much else to it besides just spotting it in game engineer also does help out with that too but you can also kind of hear the mesh mine only when you get up close to it Keeping the trip wire as low to the ground as possible is key, plus you want to try and connect it to as many different entrances or high traffic areas as possible. Also place them kinda in the middle of the map where you know people will run to. That's how you're gonna be able to maximize the killing potential from the trip wire. Next up for Nomad's specialist weapon, he uses his trusty good boy Juno, and this dog is one of the longest specialist weapons to get in a game. It takes well over 10 plus minutes to charge up, and this dog is a big, big bullet sponge. Apparently the dog had a 10% health reduction in the previous patch update, however, according to my testing, he still has the same amount of health as before, which was set around 420, so something is up with the dog's health I don't know but he does have the same health according to my testing now when I use the dog I will pretty much just follow him and he will take me to the other players Juno most of the time will get you about four or five kills on average and also another strategy you could do is basically just sit back and let the dog do the work for you while you play defensively you can rack up a good amount of kills that way while you're sitting there playing defensively and the dog is going out getting kills for you and you know boost up your score streak so very very good little strategy to do here on objective game based mode so in general he's a pretty good little specialist character but I really don't prefer using Nomad out of all the other specialist characters because I can get way more kills with you know Ajax or uh, or Torque who pretty much does the same role as uh, Nomad but he can also get you more kills his razor wire is better and of course his barricades so in my opinion I would not recommend using Nomad at all. The dog is a pretty strong specialist weapon however it just takes so long to charge up in a game which is why I would recommend using Torque if you want to play defensively. His specialist equipment and weapon do not take long to charge at all plus he gets the job done better than Nomad in my opinion but tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Do you guys like Torque or do you guys like Nomad better? Again I want to know your thoughts about the character overall. And thanks for watching until next time I'll see you guys later.